Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit in the surroundings of our North London allotments and talk about different whiskies. You join me here today, you can see there's a bit of blue sky, sort of fluffy clouds, what we always describe as uh, the Simpsons clouds uh, in the background and, you know, ultimately could be a lot worse for mid-November. So quite chilly, but ultimately fine uh, here. But of course, I am here to talk about whiskey. And what is the allotment dram today, I hear you ask? Well, something very special, quite literally special, because it's the Talisker eight years old, which is from the Diageo Special Releases uh, 2020 set. So this is a set of whiskies that uh, Diageo, who the biggest uh, producer of Scotch whiskey, uh, of anyone you know by quite a long way they own 28 distilleries uh, single malt distilleries alone so um, this is a set that they release annually and uh, we're very lucky because we uh, normally get invited to the you know very lavish uh, launch ceremony and event in central London but of course this year it's very different so uh, we had to uh, instead of talking to the brand ambassadors uh, and the master blenders and distillers face to face and tasting the whiskies with them we did it all online of course so we got a lovely box that came with the the eight whiskies that were in this year's set and uh, went through that on online uh, and it's very difficult to choose a favorite but we did choose this uh, this talisker ultimately uh, i think although it changes with different days but um of course what uh, what you have here is Talisker. So Talisker is very popular so you may wonder why it's in a special release because you know it has a big core range lots of limited editions but the whole point of the special release program is that it gives Diageo the opportunity to showcase some of the old and rare and also slightly innovative things that uh, they have sort of maturing around this estate of 28 single malt distilleries. So um, you get some, uh, you know, very expensive stuff, but you also get some quite quirky, uh, as I said, innovative stuff. And this is the category that this Talisker falls into because as, as I said, you might think that eight years old Talisker, you know, that's not that special at all. But this one in particular has um, an initial maturation. You know, it's obviously distilled up there, the Talisker on the Isle of Skye. But it has an initial maturation in uh, the ex-bourbon cast from America. But then it has a finishing period in the, uh, the uh, Caribbean rum casks. So this is uh, you know, very unusual. You know, Talisker, they, they do experiment with uh, slightly more unorthodox uh, cast types from time to time. But, but this is the first ever one that's in, in the rum cast. So, yeah, that's why it's in there it's also at the car strength so uh, just double check 57.9 percent so you know that that's why it's there but you know it also represents very good value you know it's uh, what's it about 90 pounds we bought our bottle for and it literally only arrived yesterday so we've done a review you can check the blog i'll also put a link to it uh, just underneath and that rev is a review of the, all of the eight whiskies in the special releases this year um, but um, yeah so we've tasted them before uh, but uh, we had to buy a bottle of this it was just such uh, a standout whiskey you know and don't be surprised if it doesn't make our uh, top 10 whiskies of the year uh, this year because you know it's an absolute cracker so without further ado you know I've been chatting here for what three and a half four minutes so uh, let's open it uh, do just have to point out actually I was going to talk about the packaging so with further ado um, here's the packaging you can see very different to the uh, normal Talisker packaging and this um, is something that Diageo have really ramped up in the last two years they've come up with this quite stylized design for the whole set of whiskies so they kind of sit together rather than being their own individual thing uh, so you'll see on here you know Talisker famously has the slogan made by the sea so here you've got, you know, oyster here, you've got some 
some seaweeds uh, here, We've got barnacles on the rock here, some kelp kind of winding all the way through. So really has that seaside feel and then also um, the Diageo special releases uh, logo on the top there. But uh, now without further ado, let's open, let's open this bottle. There's a little uh, thing of sky on the on the top of the label there so lots of nice touches you know with the sort of gold uh, gold um, decoration and so on so here we are let's uh, let's get this open yeah that's our favorite sound every time there we go Very exciting <clears throat> let's pop that down pop the lid on always so it was a good tip someone told me once but here we are look at this uh, you see very light color almost like a pale pale lemon yellow almost and um, it absolutely leaps out of the glass at you it is quite fresh you know the young particularly smoky whiskies do tend to have this quite sort of fresh vibrant quality it's quite peppery you know people always say um, Talisker has this sort of peppery quality to it, but um, it's definitely there, like a big crack of white pepper. But then there's also a little bit of salty sort of brininess, but then we've also got some honey, vanilla, and things like this. But uh, just under that is the first sign of these Caribbean rum casks, you know, really real with quite luscious uh, extra sweetness like tropical fruits it's definitely a little bit of pineapple in there so let's have a taste mmm so so fresh and vibrant even at that strength 57.9 you know it's really quite drinkable actually, quite dangerously drinkable I would say. But um, yeah, it has this sort of, it's like a crisp green apple and then this tropical fruit, a sort of uh, really juicy pineapple. There's like a, a tin peaches. There's maybe a bit of mango in there as well. You know, very, very nice, a uh, bit of overripe pear I'm getting now slightly later on. Um, all surrounded by this sort of peaty smoky slightly peppery uh, quality um, really gives a very sort of full-on warmth and a really interesting mouthfeel so let's have another taste mm. I mean Talisk is a sort of mid-range level of peat certainly no more than that but that comes through and this second sip I'm getting this sort of earthy slightly more traditional smoke I guess a um, bit more earthy a bit more peaty rather than this sort of peppery uh, sort of sort of note that we got initially but yeah it's almost a little sort of biscuity you know like good sort of oat cakes or sort of oatmeal biscuits, something like that. Uh, and then just in the back, I'm now getting like a pinch of cocoa powder and you know, a little pinch of ginger, you know, like powdered ginger that you make gingerbread with, um, something like that. So yeah, absolutely delicious. Really pleased we managed to grab a bottle of this before it ran out. And uh, just delicious, you know, we're fans of Talisker anyway, but this is sort of, this addition of the Caribbean rum cast has really almost lifted it to another level. In fact, I'm actually getting a little bit of almost like candied lemon or lemon zest now. So coming through like really quite late and it just works really nicely with that, that sort of peppery um, feel. So yeah, absolutely uh, delicious. Really glad, as I say, that we grabbed a, a bottle of this, you know, a really fine whiskey and you know it was very difficult to choose our favorite from this year's set of whiskies but you know I think we've done all right by choosing this one and if you read a lot of reviews then a lot of other people have as well so from myself 
and from uh, the Talisker eight years old uh, finished in the Caribbean rum cast the Diageo special release edition we'll bid you farewell thanks for watching we'll see you again very soon cheers